sometimes. But I don't need the Gitzerai to fight for us. Just with us. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. He is also a near deity. Should the Githzerai join us, we could topple the City of Death in a red dragon's blink. Should they refuse, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am a warrior of the Comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. My people will be free. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. And to you, always. Now go, mingle a bit. That's the word, right? Mingle. But don't think you've seen the last of me. I'll be back. Sure as the comet will rise. Sure as Kalir will forever circle the sun. Gods, I must look a mess. I just rolled out from under a pesky ogre when Withers yanked me in. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean... Well, I didn't mean that. I just gutted the ogre, not... Yeah. How about I change the subject before I dig this hole any deeper? You look positively perfect. Not a tentacle out of place. But damn it all. You were too bold a soul to be slinking in shadows. Tentacles or not. Your sacrifice hasn't gone forgotten. It's afforded me a life of my own making, slaying the beasts of the coast. The hunt is both duty and thrill. The trolls I've torn open, the ghouls I've cleaved, the stories I've been itching to tell. Uh, I don't suppose you'd indulge me. You'll have to choose one tail and one tail only, I'm afraid, or I'll be yammering all night. You want to hear about the Stegosaurus that bullied Candle Keep, the Impossible Lich, or the young dragon who crawled out of Deeping Cave? There are tales galore of a great green dragon called Clogiliometer. Try saying that five times in a row. Clogiliometer, Clogili Muffer, Clogger Mother, whatever. Let's call it Old Norbone. Turns out, Old Norbone had kids. And one of them flew the roost and took to stalking a small elven enclave outside Crypt Garden Forest. The damn dragon had turned the place into a slave camp before I arrived. Sordid beyond words. He was a big boy, but still a young'un. A wonder of the skies, but a lumbering oaf on the ground. I tried a sly approach, but the whelp saw me coming and up it flew. Poison poured from its mouth as it descended. I tumbled away, cast flesh to stone, and it crashed to the ground. I could have ended the battle there and then, but this was prey that deserved to be played with. The beast was a smoking heap of black-green scales once the battle was over. The elves and I sang songs and drank mead in celebration until their barrels went dry. I've seen him more than a few times, and he's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch, and he's back in his element. 
commanding the Flaming Fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the Fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart to hearts, the nights around the fire, the comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not, to be clear, I can't imagine not having you at my side. I wish you'd been there to join in. Oh, to battle together, just like the old days. I suppose that's my way of saying I miss you. Tonight, I toast not just the people we've become, but the people we were. Warriors, winners, saviors. <laughs> She's kept her leash loose, though I've been no stranger to the hells. Every target she set me on's been a demonic intruder. Tenari assassins who slip into Avernus. Armonites that amass near the sticks. My next mark's the most challenging yet. Or so she says. I don't know much more. Only that it's no demon, but a devil. She's playing a game. I don't know what it is or how she plans to win, but I can tell you this much. I'd fall on my own blade and join the blood war in an instant should Zariel's hell-touched fingers stretch towards the coast. And as long as I'm more useful as a warlock, that's not a risk Mazora would take. Go on, the night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> Seems like a century ago that we were all together, but also like no time's passed at all. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I don't need to. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, breathe deep, boo! The smell of heroes sings from every stone in this place. Ah, to meet again where your journey began, my friend. An honor. For Minsk and his hamster both. Oh! And for happy also. Uh, yes. Um, honored, of course. Ha! <laughs> See how your very presence snatches the breath from his chest? And it is no wonder. It is just this day that happy learned of your legend. While we gazed down upon the very city you saved. He dangled me from the high hall, upside down, for two hours. Eh, the guilt should not go creeping in high places if they do not have the stomach for them, hmm? It is well for Happy the strange portal appeared when it did. Minsk's arm was growing irksome. That it has! Minsk once idled away a century in stone, but he and Boo have been busy in these months since we parted. Nine fingers forbade any looting of the Illithid's fleshy vessels, and so Minsk guards what remains of the battle site, even from her. But where Minsk might once have thrown any sneaking scoundrels from the tower top, 
Now I tell them of you. How you ruled the wickedness within. How they might do the same. Yes, yes, I'll rule it. I'll be better. No, of course. It is still for Boo to decide if they live or die. Oh. Oh, God. But enough, my friend. I cannot tell your tale if I do not know the whole of it. Minsk and Boo would know where you have been. What you have done. Embrace me, my friend! And should you feel a squirming, know that it is only Boo. Or perhaps the buffet has gone bad. Ha! <laughs> you are quite coated in hamster hair. Now, wherever you go, Boo goes too. it would mean to find a cure for Karlak's heart? Exactly! Her heart would be cured! Oh, when this day comes, you must come and bunk with Minsk and Boo. Fear not. We sleep in that sewer no longer. It is a different sewer, much less damp beneath the bedroll. Now, halfling, Boo will not have you embarrassing him in front of his friends. So you are to know the rest of the company you keep. Will Ravenguard, the Blade of Frontiers, Devil Horned and Angel Hearted. Lazel of Cress Killer, true child of Gith and true friend to Boo. Though she will and say it is not so. Astarian, who is banished by the sun itself for fear his Spanish soul might outshine it. We visit him much down in the dark places. Though he often moves his lair without remembering to tell Min Square. Shadowheart. Two gods tugged at her soul, but she managed to keep it all for herself in the end. Wait, Boo, did, did she do something with her hair? Halsin, archdruid of archers somewhere. He is a much better man than he smells. And there. The champion of the hells herself. Karlak Demon's Bane. Devil's Bane. Merkel Ball and Bane Bane. Once the guild is made of good names once more, Bull shall scratch the hells wide open and find a way to bring her back. And finally, Jahira. If this is a name you do not already know, did not even Boo can save you. Study them well, sneak thief. For the best among them will be a guide for your guild. Heroes who put the city before themselves. Who never falter in their duty. And more than this, who never arrive to a party without even a gift for the host. But wait! Go, my friend. Be among our friends. There is much work yet to be done before this one is fit to join them. He's going to kill me, isn't he? Not the big mad bastard. The hamster. Oh, God. 